gonna be using the wig today because my wig got snatched by stupid i'm in a really fucked up mood today i really am and i'm gonna get on to why in a in a mo i can be a blonde bitch see hey what's up guys my wig got snatched that was the shittest thing i've ever done on camera today's video is one that i've been working on this video for around a week and a half as some of you know my ptsd recently has been very out of control i've been having flashbacks i haven't been able to sleep because of flashbacks if you're in the group chat that i have yeah, now I've been having flashbacks. I also just wanted to say thank you to Beth because Beth has been amazingly supportive. As in, she put up with my rant last night of being like, fuck this shit, fuck this. PTSD is a mental health condition that can affect anyone of any age. You don't have to be a certain age and this is directly to the stupid people who keep commenting on my video. You're too young to have PTSD. Hint, I'm not. I'm, I'm perfectly of age. There are so many people who also struggle with PTSD that are young as well. I posted this on Twitter and I got a response and I'm gonna post a few like a little things on there's a few things on screen at the moment okay I can't explain myself properly I was gonna get a drink I'm now under the home treatment team as well I'm but turned back around so this video is about PTSD living with PTSD what life is like with PTSD how it affects me and what is going on in my life this is a life, life update with PTSD essentially PTSD life update guys I, I could never be a beauty girl so this video is a PTSD update I guess because it, I'm basically when I've been filming videos recently I've had flashback on camera slash dissociated and dissociation is both a sign of an actual condition I have but it's also a sign of PTSD so I have let, I took out the footage from the actual videos that it was from and I'm putting them in this video I wanted to show you what PTSD actually looks like for me anyway this isn't everyone this is how it affects me this isn't like a full-on episode if I have a full-on episode I <sighs> I don't even think I can explain. Last night the home treatment team ended up coming out giving me medication and that whole scenario the home treatment team came out tonight and at the end of this video you're gonna hear the outcome of that. Um, so yeah this video is just going to show you what it's like living with PTSD and how it impacts me. I... PTSD has been a diagnosis I've had for a while. It's got worse recently and I don't exactly know why. I'm due to speak to my GP tomorrow as well. I feel depressed today. I don't even know why, really. Um, I'm presuming it's because last night I spent the entire night having flashbacks and all of that. That was not fun. It really wasn't. Um, Flashback. Stop, 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 I did say that this was a trigger for me. <laughs> My head is so full of draw Lancashire police stuff. All I keep thinking about is how when I was in custody I fucking ripped my arms to pieces and I turned around and said I wanted to fucking die. Yeah, no, 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 I'm just fucking, I'm just fucking baking it, just fucking baking it. Then, oh, she just ripped her arms open, shit. I hate reliving but everything. I hate it. 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 Hello, you have reached the CNWL single point of access for adult mental health services. The quality of this is really bad. It's really dark and I don't have the energy to go over there and turn the light on. I'm sat at my desk at the moment. I keep having really, really, really good flashbacks. I've been debating whether or not to put in the crisis team 
I went to phone them and then I hung up and I was like, I can't do this. And I don't know if I should try and call them or not. You will now be transferred to a member of staff who can help you. Please note your call may be recorded for training and monitoring purposes. Oh, hi, yeah. Um, hello? Hello, I'm sorry, I'm struggling a bit tonight. Yeah, it's oh, for ages. It's been go ongoing for the entire year, but it's just getting worse and worse and worse. Do you think you need to go back to see the doctor to get some, you know, something to help you sleep instead? I don't know what there is because I've been on Zoppy clone on and off and it doesn't do anything. You, you think medication's not helpful, you say? I think the ones I've been on haven't helped. I've been on Zoppy clone as well recently, it didn't do anything. Have you, I mean, you've had this feeling for a long time. Can you distract yourself or try and do some reading? I tried, or, I tried doing all that before you pick up the phone. Picking up the phone for me is the last thing I do. Pardon? You, you tried... That's what I've been trying to do all day. I really don't know. I just want, I just want my mind to just run and go. You just, you just what? So I just want all the thoughts to stop. Sorry, what are you saying? Can you... So I just want all the thoughts to stop. What are you planning to do tomorrow? Anything special or anything unspecial, like maybe going down the shops or something? give an outro to this video. The footage you just watched is, let's start with it was from other videos and showing what PTSD looks like in me. Like the little vlog sequence which was the phone call to the home treatment team, well the single point access flying for West London. Then numbers you heard me call and the phone call you heard and the conversation you heard me having with a support worker, I think he's a support worker. That is what's going on at the moment. That's the current situation. I'm going back under the care of the home treatment team. How does it feel to be going back under mental health services? Mm. I'll make a video about that tomorrow. That's like another video. I've got a few mixed thoughts on it and I just thought I'd mention that. But the big thing is, PTSD does not have an age. If you'd like to see more of me and what I do, I post literally every day on my Twitter and I post every day on here, so make sure you turn notifications on on this YouTube channel and if you don't know what I mean, you have to subscribe. You click the little subscribe button and then a little bell appears and you get to ring it and it doesn't make a ringy noise, but that'd be so cool if it did. You imagine that, you ring the notification bell, it goes ding. That'd be awesome. Leave a comment down below if any videos you'd like to see. If you want to know more about me and my life, I have loads of playlists, links on my homepage on my channel. I'm currently posting every single day, whether it's a story, mental health update, general talkie video, which is live streaming. We do all sorts here. It's a crazy ass channel and we do loads of random shit. Mainly we talk about mental health because we're going to break the stigma and we're going to fight for what we deserve. I also wrote a book earlier this year. <laughs> Shameless promo. Uh, if you want to buy the book, the link is in the description down below. Second edition is coming out at the end of the year. Yeah. So um, make sure you follow me on my social media, leave a comment down below, subscribe, comment an idea or question you'd like to have just have answered because I'm going to sneeze. No? Do you want to sneeze? No? Maybe? Possibly? Potentially? I don't know! Um, I'm going to go to bed soon. I'm quite tired. I, also have, I have also slept all day today, but no, I just had to make this video and get my thoughts out there because those are the comments that bother me. You don't have to be a certain age to have PTSD, there is no set for this. I posted it on Twitter a while back. Next time someone says it to me, I will throw a copy of the DSM-5 at them and ask them to point to me where it says there is an age for PTSD. Because spoiler alert, there's no age to be diagnosed with PTSD, but apparently there is, so who fucking knows? Let's leave the world to what it is, and like I said, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Because I make new content every single day. I've got nothing to hit you with today. So I'm going to cheers you. Cheers to raising mental health awareness and subscribing to Life of Lydia. The, the best mental health YouTuber ever. I'm really not, but I'm real. I'm a human. Ding. Oh, I need to go out to bed. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with my life at the moment. Oh. If anyone wants like an actual like life update video, can you let me know in the comments? Because I'd, I'd actually like to do a life update. I don't know why I put llama. I literally just put llama. I'm sorry, Beth. I love you really. I don't know. I'm going. Peace.